volunteers and original IBM guys coming in for their shift. Smile, you might be on TV. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Good morning Amy. <laughs> And this is our IBM 1401. Actually, our two IBM 1401s. And here's the uh, one we call the German one because we bought it and brought it from Germany with the printer and the tapes. And here's the Connecticut one that was found. Uh, in somebody's basement in Connecticut and the card reader and puncher and we have a sorter and a, a bunch of um, 26 key punches. The German machine works out of 220 so we need a big converter to make it work. Does it turn on automatically over there? I have to do something. There we go. There we go, 220 volts, three phases. And then we need a little bit of cooling. And that's over Not here. Yet. There we go. We should be in business. Ah, I can feel the breeze. And then this is the easiest thing to do. You go power on. Yep, and that's it. That's all it needs. It's booted up because there's nothing to boot it up. Now a hundred things just had to go right. That was the miracle of birth. All right, well, <laughs> we should run something on it. I'll turn the tapes on because I like them so much. And so here's my favorites, the tape drive. Actually, we need to work on them today and let's see if I can load the tape uh, if I s press slow that would be better there you go and off it goes and it's a vacuum column tape right so here are the tape coiling at the bottom and we hopefully get that one working it has a problem going to run a a test program on it? Well, let's see, you got three of them, huh? We'll get the tape moving. So we'll have to see it's clock is off. Yeah. The tape is waiting. Back there, that's the that's the uh, controller for the tapes. This uh, tapes don't work. You know, they worked a few seconds ago, and now we have a right latch failure. That's the right indicator right there. Which and we already have the schematic book open. And this should be reset by this line right here. We're gonna find out why the light won't reset. All right, should we go do it? Yeah. All right. So our tape controller is toast. And we're going to try to untoast it. So we think now that card is bad. We got the wrong signal at the output. So what we need to do is replace it with an equivalent one. has a problem with it? Well, it has something and maybe it means that they fixed it at one time. Oh, you, you want to go a little higher. Oh, there, there you go. go. There you go. All right, Let's see if that works better now. So we just pulled that card out. Is that fellow and then with no signal coming out of it now. The reset works. It's not the right light is out, so 
something was not right with this. Either the signal's coming in or the signal's coming out. Programs in. Hey, Jay. I've got to use that drive. Just with on tape one. That's the one we want to know if it reads without errors. Freezer on. There it goes. So tape is working. We are writing and reading on the tape, hopefully. And is it supposed to print some uh, errors in there? More errors, then. And uh, there you go. What does it say? Tape demo program. Eggy. Zero error counts. Zero error counts. Yeah. Oh. So that did it. So what happened is that we just uh, wrote a whole bunch of stuff on the tape, and it tells us that it didn't get an error. There you go. And it's unloading. <laughs> There you go. It's done it. Right. <laughs>